the mayor just wants um, to cover up any issue of police misconduct. A stunning charge by a Queens councilman involved in a tug of war with the NYPD threatening a subpoena to get NYPD records of a chokehold case in which police commissioner James O'Neill overturned the findings of an administrative trial judge that the cop was guilty. I think the mayor has made a decision that um, he is going to try to uh, prevent as much transparency when it comes to police misconduct uh, as possible. It goes against his narrative of having reformed uh, the police department. In the wake of public outrage over the NYPD use of chokeholds caused by the Eric Garner case. Landsman wants to codify in law an internal NYPD police policy that banned chokeholds since the early 1990s. He wants it to be a misdemeanor, and he says he needs all the records of this case. I need that information as a council member, as the sponsor of the chokehold prohibition bill. Richard Emery, the former head of the Civilian Complaint Review Board, the CCRB, says state civil rights law prevents release of detailed information about the detective in question, but that should not prevent uh, the police department or the CCRB for that matter from releasing a description a detailed uh, that is not identifiable with a particular police officer so that the police so that the public can have confidence in the process and in the decisions asked about the controversy on Monday the mayor defended Commissioner O'Neill's decision deflecting blame for the lack of transparency on the failure of Albany legislators to change the civil rights law our Albany office was working on it from the beginning of the legislature of session, it became clear that it was there was not a pathway. Meanwhile, sources tell CBS2 that the controversy, a no win for the mayor or the commissioner, drove the NYPD to seek a green light from the detective involved to release a surveillance video, if not details, of the case. This is it. The NYPD is saying in a statement that it shows that the officer did not use a chokehold or any other prohibited tactic to prevent the defendant from spitting on him and his partner and others confined in the elevator. He used a shirt. Now, police spokesman said the commissioner overturned the judge's ruling because he felt the video exonerates the detective. But Councilman Lansman is not backing down. He says if he doesn't get all the records by next week, he will ask the city council to subpoena them. Dana. Marcia, thank you.